Hello guys, DJ HK back with another video. Um, today we're going to do a, a little cheeky first impression of a show I've recently got and I put on my Instagram. So I thought I'd come on here and we just kind of run through it really with you. You know what we normally do. Hope everybody is well. Hope everybody is enjoying themselves. Um, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please check out all my other videos. Um, that'd be much appreciated. Obviously we hit the... Um, the target and I think I addressed that in the previous video but let's keep it building let's, let's keep it going um, and I'm gonna try and get some more videos out for you more consistently but today we're gonna take a look at a DC shoe shock I know um, but yeah this is the JSP no, it's, not even, it's not even gonna pick it up on the this camera but that it's JSP <laughs> um, Kalis OG shoe um, I, you know I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest, you guys. I wasn't, I wasn't massively keen on this shoe, um, just from first impressions, you know, just because of the colorway. Like I'm quite a. When I do, when I buy shoes, they're normally kind of, kind of normal. Well, not normal, but like they're not very colorful. So they, you know, got the blacks, the greys, you know, just those type of um, kind of boring colors or shades, I guess you would call it. Um, so when it comes to color, I'm not massively into it. But um, one of the guys on Instagram who messaged me, I um, can't remember his name, I think his name's Rob, but his um, handle's like sweaty. He put a picture up, sweaty feet, I don't know. He probably doesn't have sweaty feet, but he put a picture up of a of this shoe paired with some cargoes and I thought, Phew, that looks nice. That looks really, really good. Um, and yeah, and I was just influenced to buy it. So I thought, fuck it, let's just buy it. Um, it'd be nice for the collection. But yeah, it is this shoe here. It's the JSP um, Josh Kalis model. I don't know when this actually came out. I think it came out a while ago, to be fair. Um, but I haven't bought it. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Comes in this kind of similar to the normal box, but it's got 34 on there. I guess that's some sort of um, special number related to JSP. I'm not a massive JSP nut, so I don't know really too much of the brand. Um, I know it's uh, Jimmy Gorecki's brand and he used to be, I don't know too much about him unfortunately either, but he used to obviously be a skater, he's from Philadelphia. Um, I know that he was, when he was a skater, he was on um, the ice cream skate team with Terry Kennedy um, and that was obviously owned by Pharrell Williams. So I know that side of things and I recognize that ice cream, that ice cream brand because I remember when I was younger, I used to sit in um, some of the like, I think they're called Richmond Classics or John Anthony shops and they had like a cool look. So I do remember that side of things, but in terms of actually telling you much about him and about the JSP as a brand, I couldn't really tell you. I do follow on it, follow him on Instagram and it, you know, his, his clothing seems, you know, there's a lot of sweats and stuff like that. But like I said, I don't know too much. But him being an old school uh, skate guy, um, obviously he, he obviously must have collabed with uh, Kalis and DC and, and kind of brought out this type of shoe. And, and yeah, it is pretty funky to be fair. Obviously, there's a few colors on here. You've got mainly, it's, it's, you know, it's the OG kind of design. I can't imagine it. I don't think it's any different. I could get out the, the Kalis OG um, one that I have, but I'm not going to. I can't be asked if I'm being, I'm being completely honest. Because I have to get all the shoes out. But... Jim Gorecki being, uh, Jimmy Gorecki being a, an old school skate guy, I can't imagine him wanting to slim anything down at all. I think it's pretty much, I think it's pretty much the same. It could be wrong, but I'm gonna go guess and pretty much, he's, the silhouette and the actual shoe design is pretty much the same. He's just added his own little take on it in terms of the colors. So you've got, um, obviously got this kind of highlighter orange that is on the bottom here. And it's quite luminous on the camera to be fair. Um, it goes all the way around here with kind of this kind of material. Um, this isn't suede or anything, it's just some sort of kind of canvas material if I'm being completely honest. You, most of it is leather. Um, even the side panels uh, here, that's kind of leather. Obviously you've got the foam bit at the back with the JSP branding, if you can see that. You've got these kind of um, hiking style shoelaces, which I think are a nice little touch. It is a bit different. In the box, you do get white ones as well. So don't worry if, you, if these are not for you, you can obviously whack the white ones on there and they look um, they still look pretty cool. But yeah, it's got the 34 brand in there. I don't know what that is. Um, if I'm, like I said, I'm not a massive J JSP guy, so I couldn't really tell you if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, it's a cool little shoe. 
probably am going to skip it at one point. Um, it's not my favourite Kalis, if I'm being completely honest. Um, my favourite Kalis is the one I've already got. I think that's the dopest colourway. There is some other ones that were previously released. Um, I think the all black one, that was... Oh, and I think that was a previous release and it was also back in the day when Kalis had the shoe out, it was an all black one, looked really nice. So I would love to get that one, but I don't think realistically that isn't going to happen, unfortunately, unless they start making Kalis OG shoes as an, a normal run. But that isn't going to happen. I can't see it happening, even though we all wish it would, you know, and everybody knows that the, 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 the standard line DC stuff, in my opinion, is just whack, it's crap. Um, you know, the, the 90s culture's been brought back a lot in skating at the moment. I'm seeing a lot more people, especially in the UK, repping them. Um, there's a, a couple of lads in Brighton that I know, that like, I follow on Instagram. They're like bringing back the, you know, the draw, drawers clothing and, you know, wearing the links and stuff like that. And I think it's brilliant because, um, you know, I love all that stuff. And I wish, I wish, like I said, I wish DC would just listen instead of mass making these they're not even nice silhouette shoes, you know, it's not like, I know obviously people hate on Nike SB and Adidas and, you know, these brands that were, you know, not skater owned and, you know, have other affiliations to other sports and whatnot. But <laughs> yeah, you know, Nike SB are like that, but they do pu push, they do push a lot of nice shoes in my opinion. If you look at a Nike SB shoe, I always think that, you know, you can't really hate on them. You can't really hate, you know, and I can hate the fact that they're now ink and whatnot, but you can't hate the silhouettes. I know they're canvas, I know they're probably vulcanized, and some of you guys might, might not like it. But what DC are doing are doing the same. They do push vulcanized and other kind of shoes like that, but they're just not good. They're just not good. I don't understand. And, you know, there isn't many people wearing them. People will wear the, you know, I like the Legacies and I like the Williams Slim. I like the silhouettes, but the rest of them are trash. Most people want the OG stuff, you know, OG collaborations, people go mental over. So I just wish DC would just listen and, you know, not, I don't mean like get rid of everything and just start making OGs as like just norm because not everybody likes a chunky shoe and these are big boy shoes, they are huge. Uh, and I can completely understand that, but just make an OG line, simple. Um, and then also have limited stuff. So, you know, you can please both sides of it. That's my opinion. Um, but yeah, this is a cool little shoe, you know, it's a big, big chunky shoe. Like I said, it's got a nice JSP branding in the, at the back there. You know, you can't pair this with everything um, and not everybody will like this type of shoe, I, I, can, I will imagine. But I think it's cool. You know, if you pair it with a nice olive cargoes or, you know, um, a certain style, I reckon you could, you, could, you could rep it, you know, it's cool. That's the bottom bit as well. You know, leads in with this kind of bluish kind of design here. I don't know what blue you would call that, but it, you know, um, it matches on the bottom. I'll get the other shoe out so you guys can see as well. So here we go. Fresh, let's look from the front. Pretty cool. Nice, big chunkies, you know, they're huge. Look, I mean, I've got a big head. <laughs> they're fucking massive, so, so yeah. They're also, it's nice little touches as well. It's got this kind of, oh, everything's falling out. It's got this nice JSP kind of branding. It says, refuse to limit your game to one hustle. Which is pretty cool, you know. Don't limit yourself, that's pretty much what they're saying. So that's nice. But yeah, this is a JSP. I don't, JSP, Kalis, OG design, I don't think there's many shoes out. I don't think, you know, there's many options out there where you can buy the shoe. Um, like I said, um, I think it was released a while back. So if you find one and you like it, probably cop it because, you know, they ain't gonna be making any more. Um, likewise to the other stuff. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I would really, really, really appreciate it. I've got loads of other DC OG stuff on there. So if you're interested in this, go ahead um, and check out the playlist. Um, if you, as somebody that watches my videos but hasn't subscribed just pop the subscribe button because I think the percentages are ridiculous in terms of people that are not subscribed compared to people that have um, that are subscribed and how many people watch it so if you actually are made it to the end um, just pop a subscribe it would be much appreciated but yeah cheers guys peace DJ Escape out